What's going on YouTube? This is Tommy Clazer coming to you with my last video for a while. <clears throat> um, uh, I'm not going to be home tomorrow to get mail and all that stuff, so it's going to be my last video for a little bit until I come back one weekend or whatever to get my mail and make a video and do some trades or whatever maybe. But I'm not going to be able to do trades anymore for a little bit, at least for now until I get stuff figured out, how, many, what, how I would do it. But I'm still probably going to be bidding on stuff on eBay some of the PayPal I've gotten over the past week or so selling stuff and probably be selling stuff on eBay get more PayPal so when I come back to make videos you'll have some nice mail day videos maybe a box break video or two but yeah so basically this might be I think I have a few cards to show that I've gotten in the last couple of days some of these I don't remember if I showed but oops um yeah so I did get in, I have a huge Drummond card that's going to be in this top 15 I'm about to do, but just look some quick cards that I did get in. I got this Drummond patch out of 25, I think I already showed that. And then, I don't remember if I showed this either, this Eric Bledsoe, Ricky Otto. And then the last two days, shit, what did I get yesterday? Oh, that Chris Paul, I already showed that, and this Jeff Hornacek. Got that redemption, this Jeff Hornacek redemption in yesterday. Uh, 349. And I'm pretty sure I showed the Chris Paul, yeah. And this Jack Sigma I just got in today. Got that for a good deal. Love the select cards. And then I have a huge drumming card, but I'm going to do a top 15 video. So, oh shit, I make it top 16. Sorry, it's going to be a top 16 cards video. So, forgot one card. Forgot the number one card, actually. I thought I put it in the stack. Alright, so number 16 is going to be this Kobe out of 25 from Select Refractor. I pulled it myself. It looks amazing in person. One of these days when I trust in myself enough to mail my nice cards without getting them lost in the mail to get them graded, I'm going to get it, get this card graded because it's in perfect condition. It's just a sweet looking card. I don't know, I love, this insert is really sweet. It's one of my favorite inserts of all time, this Infly one. I got that in the first pack of a box open a while ago. Alright, next, number 15, we got this really nice Chris Paul auto, auto focus from the Trilogy. Pretty cool. Then number 14, Kawhi Leonard rookie auto jersey from Gold Standard. Picked this card up for like $11, so now it's worth way more than that. I actually had two Kawhi Leonard autos before he blew up, and I sold one of them that I bought for like 10 for 50 I think, on eBay. Alright, next, this card is not close to these in value but this card is amazing I bought uh, I think I got a lot of three SP game used 0506 I believe what it was 0405 SP game used and I got the first two packs of jersey cards and this pack was this really sweet Sam Cassell patch auto my first patch card out of 50 and it's on card and the card looks really nice in person it's just a really really clean card I thought it was KG at first I was really excited but it was Sam Cassell but whatever. Alright, next we got this from before Paul George blew up, I got this card as redemption for the set. Iconic set, which I'm still doing. It's going very slowly, but I'm still doing the set. Uh, got this Paul George Iconic Auto. Paid like I think 10 bucks for it. 10 shipped. Very nice card. Out of 99. That's not leaving the collection anytime soon. Um, Alright, pulled this card out of Absolute. I did on my birthday a while ago. Um, I don't really know what to say, but this set sells for a lot, and this is the blue auto version, and I was surprised, I think one of these sold for 150 a while ago, I haven't really checked the pricing lately, but it's Alonzo Morning Heroes autograph, really sweet card, I don't really care about the value, because I'm going to keep it in my collection forever, because it's a nice card, a great player, but yeah, Alonzo Morning Heroes auto, alright, next, we got this really nice card, Based on value, Kyrie Irving, rookie auto out of 149 on card. He's going to do really good this year. I think his prices are going to increase a lot playing with LeBron. Just to make a nice playoff run. Alright, next we got this Drummond Flawless Auto out of 20. Very nice card. On card auto. It's going to be worth a lot one day, mark my words. I overpaid a lot for it though. Um, Alright, next, this is the card I just got in today. It's my first one of one of Andre Drummond. And it's a titanium one of one with Greg Monroe. Very nice card. 
I don't even know what number I'm on, but yeah, it's not my favorite drum, and I have two above it. But it's still a really amazing card. My favorite cards. It's probably just going to go up the list eventually. All right, next you got this Immaculate Patch Auto of Andre Drummond out of 100. I guess these two are tied because I like them both. This is my only auto patch I have of them, and the patch is really nice. It's got the the blue, white, red, white. So that's really nice. All right, next we got my Kobe Auto from Iconic. Really sweet card on card auto. Got this for a good deal. I think I got it for under 100. On 99. Next, I got this for a steal one year, uh, one day. Like I said, this one's never gonna leave my collection. This card is never gonna leave either because I got it for a good deal. Unless I can trade it for a lot. It's just Kevin Durant, Springfield bound auto out of 149. Got that for like 120 bucks as a steal. Like one of the corners is a little bit dinged, but I don't mind. All right, now we're on to the top three. These are all cards I've pulled. Actually, top four. Sorry. These are all cards I've pulled. Um, I've pulled, I can tell you real quick which ones I pulled. Let's see. I pulled this one. I think I already mentioned that. I pulled the Sam Cassell. And then I pulled this Kobe Refractor, the first card I showed. But these top four are obviously, they're ranked higher than any of these cards. You know, they might be higher value wise just because I pulled them. So, yeah. Top number four, I got this LeBron Gold Medallion rookie card. Bought it. Bought a blaster box of this Fleer Ultra stuff from the card shop. My first time I went to the card shop for 30 bucks, and it said $16. My mom yelled at me because they said I paid $30 for a $16 box. And I said, nope, that's just how it goes. Because you have a LeBron, LeBron rookies brought up the value of it. And guess what? I pulled the LeBron gold medallion. So that was really sweet. Number three, my favorite drumming card. Pulled it myself out of a select box. Is this on card Prism Auto out of 99. Just a really amazing card. That box was terrible. I got, I think I got shorted a hit. And one of the autos, the, re the Redemption, the code didn't have, the Redemption didn't have a code. Even though it was a Corey Joseph, I was still kind of mad. But they did have this drumming, so I'm really happy for that. Alright, top two. Pulled this card at the card shop. I went there. I skipped class one day to go to the card shop to get supplies. And. I'm like, oh, I'll do a few packs of Prism. What the hell? Open like five packs just to get some. I was hoping for a purple refractor. I did get one of James Worthy, but I also pulled this black 101 of Rick Fox. Just a really nice card. I saw the other one, the checkered one, the mosaic one, sold for 210 So I'm assuming this is around the same price value, not higher, because these Prisms, the black Prisms, the non-mosaic, people, there's been less Prism boxes open than Prism Jumbo, so who knows, somewhere around there. All right, now for the number one card. This is the card that got me into collecting. It's been my favorite card for many years. Uh, condition is pretty shitty, but I don't really care. Never going to leave my collection. Never will consider leaving my collection. There's a better chance of me selling in my entire Drummond collection than selling this card. Cause it's not just because it's not worth anything, but just because I love it so much. Is uh, this Vince Carter Tops Total. My first or second pack of cards I got this out of. Corners are all messed up. Because I didn't know how to take care of cards back then, but I just love this card. Uh, just a picture of him in his Nets uniform in, with two basketballs. I, was, I, I loved used to watch, um, ugh. I used to love watching the Pistons versus the Nets in the playoffs. Back in the, you know, the good days when the Pistons were actually a good team. They're getting good, in but, you know, the last five years have been pretty disappointing for the Pistons. But before that, when they had Ben Wallace, Chauncey Billups... Tayshawn Prince, Pip Hamilton, Rasheed Wallace going against Jason Kidd, Richard Jefferson, Vince Carter, Nod Kristich, and all them. It was some good. I hated the Nets. I hated every single player in the Nets except for Vince Carter. Vince Carter's always been my favorite player. I'm really happy to the Grizzlies now. So, yeah, that's it. That's my top 15. Um, there's some other cards I probably could have shown, I guess. Just to name a couple. I could have probably shown this Manu Ginobili rookie auto I got. Got this nice Paul George rookie auto sitting here. Also have a Rondo, Tops Finest Auto I pulled. A Dwight Howard and Gold Patch out of 10, like 5 color I pulled from Totally Certified. But yeah, probably saw the list right there, so thanks.